Hi, Crafty Friends. I am back to share a tutorial on creating this Memory Dex card. So I did part of the um, getting it ready just so it wouldn't take too long. So what I did was I cut out one, two, three, four of the butterfly um, die set that I have and then the um, the top one out of glitter paper and then I layered it with some of this uh, foam tape in between each layer of butterflies and then I added some tool I tied it I made a knot and so that's that and let me see here and then um i did use scrap diva designs um memory decks envelope um i don't remember exactly what it's called but anyway here's the die set and i also used her tulip mini album Okay, so I already layered this. I have a um, chipboard, real not too thick, but it's pretty sturdy. I cut out the pattern paper from. Oh my goodness! Um, let me show you. From the Cardabella um, Here Comes Spring collection. And so, what I did here's another piece from the Scrap Diva Design paper, I mean, die set. Actually, I did line that with a um, solid cardstock on the back. Okay, and then let's do the uh, what do you call it? The shaker, the tulip shaker. So I pre cut everything. Let me make sure I have. Okay. There's the acetate. Here's the foam. And then here is this piece. Actually, I'm going to probably layer it again. Oh. I already have it layered with this cardstock, but to make it more sturdy, I didn't cut out the chipboard, but this will help it to be a little more sturdy. Okay, and then I layered it with the Cardabella Here Comes Spring collection paper, um, one of the papers. And then let's get the uh, 
Sometimes you never know if it's going to fit. Oh, it fits better that way. And I keep forgetting, I think I use it's a uh, five millimeter foam. Once you lay it down, you just want to turn it around and make sure it's kind of it's as lined up as as good as you can get it. Okay. And then I have my sequence mix. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out. Hopefully that's good. And then let me see. Okay. So some of you already probably know this, but um, I just recently realized I can use this um, anti static for your acetate. I'm going to put some glue down first. And that really helps when you lay down the acetate so that the sequins don't cling to your acetate before it's laid down. All right, and let me make sure my, okay. So just run it through here. I know you can make your own and then put it down. See, it, it used to just cling up and it, sometimes it would get on the edges and you have to pull it back off and then it's a mess. So it is worth it. I've had that little pouch in my mustache for a couple years and I never used it. I'm trying to think. I think it was for stamping. Okay, here is the top part. This is my third video today. <laughs> okay, so... Line that up as best as you can. And then put that aside while you're working on. And just hope it doesn't stick. Let me pull it out. And let that stick stay there and then we can start doing a little bit of the layering which let's see here so i have renee bouquet's um pleated tool here 
one of my favorites. I, I also use the pink one. And I have this trim in my from my stash. Just lay that down, and then you can trim it if it's too long. Okay, so there's that, and then a couple more pieces for layering. a bug. <laughs> um, and then I have this gold leaf trim, which the last one I did, I forgot to put it down before I glued down this. So it was, well, I had to kind of tuck it. This trim is plastic-like, so I don't want to put too much glue and melt it. And there's that. And what I actually did was these kind of came down to kind of double, have a whole row of the leaves pointing down. I don't know even how I did that. But... but I like that look better. My fingers are full of glue. Put this glue down here. might be too high but I'll just put that right there just making sure I'm recording but I see it's the setting is messed up <laughs> Okay, so you have that. Let me see if this has had enough time to dry. Actually, you know what? I forgot I have one right here, so I'm I'm just going to use that one. I just like to make sure those are dry completely. And so what I did was I kind of cocked it a little. And I actually put some foam tape down at the stem. So that way it kind of lines up or uh, yeah lines up with the back so it's more stable 
and I can put some glue there. Glue. Let me see if I can kind of get this the same way. I think it's just a little. Oh, and it's sticking already. <laughs> okay, I guess it's gonna have to do. So that way, see, it's really sturdy. And then let's get the butterfly. Oh, nope. One more step here. So I have this mesh. And I just like to add. And you know me and my layers. Let's see if I don't burn myself here. I just kind of gather it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you stick down the butterfly. And then I have a flower here. And I just kind of tuck it. Shoot, I wasn't far enough down. I'm going to need something to clean that up. I have all these little glue spots here that I can't stand. I don't like feeling them. Okay. So that's better. And now I can just put a little uh, sentiment or something right there. I have to find something really small. Okay. So what I do is I layer this with some foam tape And then I'm going to take one of these stickers with flowers on it, a little flower cluster. I'm just going to stick it on the side there. More foam tape. This time I'm adding some of this glue. And then, let me see. Oh, nope. I thought I had a little piece of eyelash trim. Mm. Oh, let's just get the thread. Oh, you know what? I see some. Oh, 
right, so well, I shook everything. Uh, if I could find the end here. So you don't really need much of this. You just want it to kind of hang out. Show you what I'm doing. And then I want a little bit of thread. I think I put the thread on first before. So you just wrap it. Just kind of spread it out if you want. Okay, and more foam tape. more glue here. This sign, that sentiment is a little bigger and it's going to take up more space. But you'll hear, hear the shaker. <laughs> Just trying to make sure it's straight. And then one more thing, I think. these little flat backs and put a little bit of hot glue on the end and just stick it right here I mean, there's still room here to decorate if you want, but to me, I feel like it's finished. And there you have it. This one, I did go up a little too high with the layering, and you can't see it as much as the leaves there, but I might go back and put another layer of the leaves here, so that way they, they do show, because I do like that. Anyway, you can write your information in the back and you can make a little pocket back there. I might put a little pocket. I'll use maybe Scrap Diva Design uh, one of her. She has some pockets in some of her die sets. And so I might do that and put a little note back there. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video and be sure to check out my challenge and I'll see you soon. Bye.